thought we'd get out for a while today, go for a drive. Just a beautiful day in Arizona. Uh, we are in Prescott, Arizona. Haven't been here for about four years. And man, everybody's out. Look at that. Look at that rod. Everybody's out with their motorcycles. Everybody's out with their toys. Their old cars, antiques. Here's the old courthouse square. And look, parking. Everywhere you can find a place to park. Any other time, you'd be parking in a parking garage. Arizona is the most historic restaurant, the Palace. It's closed up just like everything else here. But it is what it is. But we thought we'd just get out and go for a drive. Shirley's never been down here before, so we're going to take uh, 89A back up through Jerome and Sedona and at least go see it since we're this close. At least have a chance. Might not be able to go in anywhere, but hey, we're not sitting in the RV. A lot of other things to do. Get out and get some exercise. Scope it out for maybe a future years, you know? But that's what we're doing. Making a day of it. Hey, we stopped up here at Jerome, Arizona, on the way back. The Jerome Grand Hotel. This is where the Saint Asylum used to be way back in the day. There was actually a Saint Asylum cafe in there. But also, if you look over here behind us, that's a heck of a view. We're at about 5,000 feet on Highway 89A, the world famous 89A. You don't want to bring any of your rigs up here if you don't absolutely have to because there's some sharp hairpins. But you'll go all the way down through the valley now. And then on the other way is back to Prescott and Prescott Valley. Yeah, you can see it from all way. So what do you think, Kim? You finally made it up to you. Up to our haunted Your haunted yes. hotel. I wanted to come and see it. We've been looking for it for five years and we finally found it. <laughs> Google found it for us, otherwise we would have drove right by it again. Yeah, yeah. well we did drive by it. Because when you come from the south, you can't see it because you're looking at the road. Yeah. If you came from the other way, from the north, you might have seen it, but then you've already passed the entrance. And then the sign's telling you no left turn and saying no right turn, but yet Google's telling you to turn. <laughs> but look at all, everybody's got their old muscle cars out taking this road. It was a beautiful scenic road. Good hairpin turns. Uh, I mean, they were 15 miles an hour and 20 miles an hour, so it is very narrow roads up here. In fact, my dually just barely fit on a couple of them, and this road coming up here is a one-way road. People going downhill have the right-of-way. So very cool. This is uh, another great day spending out in Arizona. We'll be leaving here shortly in probably a couple days and probably headed to Page and then up to Utah. Utah has finally opened up their uh, public lands again where you can actually camp in there and we're looking forward to that. Yeah. And try to ease up the Bryce Canyon. Yes. But man, this has been a great day. It's just beautiful temperatures. I know it's hard to see the Perfect. reds out there and everything. But man, we're having a good time. Stop the madness. Start the adventure. It's time to go find a place to eat some lunch. Let's go get lunch. Yeah. Well, good morning. It's another great day waking up. We are still here right outside of uh, Williams, Arizona. Been here for two or three days. But uh, from when we first got here to be three or four rigs of our own little tribe, now you can kind of see this place is getting busy. I mean, uh, all this forest service, state land, forest land, BLM land, and then people got to come and park right next to you within 30 feet. I just don't understand it. But this is what RV's getting to. They are more and more people RVing. 
And a lot of RVers nowadays don't care how close they get to you, even though they could go farther up the road and camp all they want to. So we decided we're going to pack up and we're going to go. We found out that Utah has opened up their public lands. So I think now's the time to get to going. My sister's over here. We've got our group over here. I think it's just going to be Shirley, myself, and my sister. We're going to take off, head up to Page, cut over from Page over to Kanab, and then go up around Bryce. It's going to be a little cooler. It's going to start getting warm down here. The Page is supposed to be almost 95. Kanab's supposed to be 85, so we're chasing 70 degrees. <clears throat> so that's what we're going to do. We're going to get everything geared up today. Enjoy one last day here. Flags are flying. Enjoy our fellowship with some people here. And then, just like always, it's time to move. And I keep telling you all, these lands are getting busier and busier. And now that things are opened up, there's a lot of people compressed in a little area. So uh, if you're thinking about RVing, if you're thinking about enjoying it, traveling across America, you better get to stepping. Because you wait too long, pretty soon they'll be all around you and you won't have any privacy, any place. We've noticed a big change in the last five years. A big change where there was nobody and now there's everybody. So hopefully they'll open up the parks. Uh, maybe most of the Americans can get up there and the full-time RVers can get up and enjoy it before everybody from the international community has time to book planes and hotel rooms and stuff like that and we can enjoy it before they get up there because if you've been to our national parks you know what i'm talking about so we gotta load up and we're gonna head out stop the madness start the adventure some days here